Hey team, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Now today we're going to follow on from our last pop-up form tutorial. However, this time we're going to cover how you can use Klaviyo to create a free pop-up form for your Shopify store. Now by creating pop-ups on your Shopify store, you can quickly capture your visitors' attention and drive sign-ups, engagement, and also promote special offers as soon as visitors land on your website. Okay, now before we launch into today's tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and create a free pop-up form for your Shopify store with Klaviyo. <music> Okay, so let's get started. First things first, what we need to do is log into our Shopify store. Now today, what we're going to do is connect to an application called Klaviyo. Now Klaviyo is an all-in-one email marketing service. And what we're going to do is connect Klaviyo with Shopify and then create a pop-up with Klaviyo. And that's going to allow us to create a free pop-up form for our homepage. And that is the focus for today's beginners tutorial. So what we need to do is navigate over to apps, then simply navigate over to shop for apps. Here we want to come down to the search bar and type in Klaviyo and then hit search and then come down and locate Klaviyo. Simply click add app and then scroll down and click install app. Here we need to go ahead and create an account. Simply add your email, create a password, and then click continue with integration. Then simply add your brand information. A lot of this information will be automatically generated based on the information you provided to Shopify. Over here, you want to make sure that you add your sender email address. Now this can be related to your brand. It doesn't need to be a proper email address at the moment. You can change this later. However, this is your email address where your emails will be sent from. Then come down and click continue. Here you have the option to design your email templates. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is skip this part. However, if you want to watch a complete Klaviyo tutorial for beginners that covers everything from email marketing to landing pages to email automation, then feel free to watch the tutorial up above that will take you through the complete Klaviyo tutorial. However, today we're just going to focus on the pop-up form. So come down and click continue and then just simply head over to your email inbox, the email that you use to sign up to Klaviyo and verify your email. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. And then once you've confirmed your email, you will arrive on your Klaviyo dashboard. Here, what we wanna do is actually navigate over to lists and segments. Here, what we wanna do is create a list. Simply navigate up to create list and then come down to list and then come up here and add a list name. For the purpose of this list, it's gonna be our subscribers that sign up to our pop-up form, the pop-up form that we're gonna create with Klaviyo. So the name is gonna be pop-up subscribers. Then come down and click create list, and then head over to create a sign-up form. Then simply click create sign-up form, and then under create form, come down to type and select pop-up. Then over here we have the option to create a pop-up from scratch or we can come down and scroll through all these different pre-made templates that we can build from. Now if you're a complete beginner I recommend scrolling through all these different pre-made templates and then selecting one and customizing it the way that you like. So for us we're going to come down and let's see find one that works best for us. I like the look of let's go with this one here and I'm going to select this pre-made template and then simply name your form for us. We're gonna call this pop-up and then come down and click a subscribe list. For us, we're gonna select pop-up subscribers. This is the list we created for this pop-up form. Whenever someone signs up to this pop-up form, they're gonna be added to the pop-up subscribers list that we created. So click on the list that you created and come down and click create form. And this is where we can go ahead and create our pop-up form. Now, Klaviyo's builder is very straightforward and easy to use. Basically, you have access to these blocks that you can simply drag and drop onto your pop-up form or really any template that you're building and you can create your form like that. 
For example, if I wanted to add an image, I could simply click this image block and drag that over to my form and place that where I like. For example, I could place that under this bit of text and as you can see, that simply adds the image block. You can do this with any block, simply drag and drop. On the left hand side, you can see all these different editing options. For example, I can change the block style. I can change the image click action. For example, if a visitor clicks on the image, I could send them to a product page. However, I'll leave that blank and up here I can add an image. However, for the purpose of this pop-up, I wanna keep it quite simple. So to do that, I'm gonna come down and I'm actually gonna remove this block element by clicking delete block. And then back over here, I can select any of these other block elements. However, what I wanna do is navigate over to my form and get rid of this section here, as I wanna keep my form very simple. And then what I wanna do is change this text by simply clicking on the text element and coming up here and changing this text. I'm gonna change it to get 20% off. And then I'm gonna navigate up to the formatting options and come down and change the size to 48. I'm happy with that. Now with the text down here, I wanna change that to sign up and get 20% off your first order. I'm happy with that. And as you can see, all your changes will be automatically saved. Then navigate over to back and I'm happy with that. There's a few more things I wanna change. For example, I wanna change the text on this button. I wanna navigate over to button text and change this to get my discount. And then down here, there's a few more style settings. For example, button style and block styles. You can change that if you like. And next to action, we have submit form. Below this, we have list to submit. When a subscriber submits this form, their information is gonna be sent to our pop-up subscribers list. Below that, we have after submit, show success message if we like, or we can go go to URL or close form. Now, if you click show success message, you can navigate over to success message over here and you can change your success message if you like. However, what we wanna do is actually remove this success message. You can keep it if you like, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna remove the success message. Navigate back to subscribe form, come back down to the button, and on the left-hand side, what I wanna do after submit is show success message. No, I wanna remove that to close form. And then two more things we wanna do is we wanna change some of the information on this block, and then we wanna change the background image. Come down and click your email and then come down and change the label text for us we're going to change this to subscribe now and then below this we have placeholder text currently it is set on email address i'm happy with email address that's quite straightforward and then simply head back now what we want to do is navigate over to styles under styles you can see that we have a background image what we want to do is replace this background image by selecting replace here what we're going to do is upload an image by selecting browse files. And as you can see, I've added the new background here. I like the look of that, that looks awesome. Now what we wanna do is navigate over to behaviors. And then under display timing, what we wanna do is select loading delay. Under loading delay, what we wanna do is select show when visitor is exiting the page. So for example, if a visitor lands on our homepage and they start navigating up to the exit on the screen, then this pop-up will appear. I also wanna click show 60 seconds after page load. For us, what we wanna do is select five seconds. So now this pop-up will show five seconds after the page has loaded. You can also come down and show this option here, show after scrolling 60% of the page and you can change that if you like. Display frequency, down here we want to keep this selected. Don't show again after submit form or go to the URL action. However, if a visitor closes this form without submitting the form, then what we wanna do is show this after 30 days. And I'm happy with that. Then below this, we have devices show on desktop and mobile. You can select desktop or mobile only, but we'll keep that as desktop and mobile. Then below targeting, we wanna make sure that don't show to existing Klaviyo profiles is selected. Basically, if a visitor has already signed up, then this pop-up will not appear. And I'm happy with that. We also have options for URL and by location. But I'm happy with my form. What I'm gonna do is now navigate up to publish. And congratulations, when you receive a message like this, sign up forms are successfully installed on your site. You've just created and installed your pop-up form and it should work on your website. Come down and click publish. Now the last thing we wanna do is navigate back to Klaviyo. 
and then come down to flows and then navigate over to create flow and then up here we're going to name this flow welcome pop-up subscribers then come down and click create flow here what we want to do is create a trigger for when people are added to this list so click list over here and then come down and choose the list this is the list we created pop-up subscribers so every time that a subscriber gets added to this list then this flow will be activated and what we want to do is send a welcome email with the 20% off code that we created that enticed people to sign up to our pop-up form I hope that makes sense then come down and click done then navigate over to email and drag that over here so basically every time someone signs up to our pop-up form they're going to be automatically sent this email and this email is going to have that promotional code so come down and we want to edit this automated email by clicking edit and then come down and edit the subject here what we want to add is here's your 20 percent discount code and then go ahead and add preview text if you like what we're going to do is click save changes and then come down and click select template and then come down here and select a pre-made email template if you like for us what we're going to do is select basic and then come down and click one column and then here we have options to go ahead and use the drag and drop block builder to build out our new welcome email so this is the email that's going to have our discount code and it's going to be automatically sent to subscribers when they sign up to our pop-up form so what i'm going to do is quickly just edit this i'm going to add an image here and then selecting this image i already uploaded earlier I'm happy with that then what I'm going to do is come down here to this text and I'm going to edit the text firstly what I'm going to do is simply highlight all this text and delete it then navigate up here and highlight this text what I want to do is center align and then type in welcome to epic coffee beans and then below this I'm going to add the 20% off promotional code and then down here I'm going to change the code color by clicking color and I'm going to select brown and this is a basic email they will receive with the code when they signed up to the pop-up again you can go ahead and play around with all the different blocks styles and elements but for us what we're going to do is click save content and then once you're happy with your email details just simply navigate up to done and then come down and click draft and then click live then click exit and congratulations just like that you've created a pop-up form and an email flow so the email flow basically gets triggered when someone signs up to your subscriber list through the pop-up they will get sent this email with the discount code in their email inbox it's very straightforward I hope that makes sense now what we're gonna do is go ahead and check out our pop-up form live on our website firstly I'm gonna click save and exit and then head over to my live website and congratulations just like that you've created your pop-up form as you can see we have our pop-up form that has appeared after five seconds of the website being loaded now with this pop-up form what I'm gonna do is go ahead and enter my email and then show you what the welcome email looks like remember we created that welcome email flow after someone subscribes to this pop-up form so what I'm gonna do is add my email address and then click get my discount and remember we removed the success message however you can keep that if you want and just design it the way that you like and now what I'm gonna do is head over to my email inbox and find the email with this code and as you can see just like that in my inbox I've got here's your 20% discount code if I come down here I can see this promo code down here so just like that guys it's very straightforward to create a pop-up form through Klaviyo for your Shopify store I hope you got value from this just remember to take the time to create your pop-up form and your email flow however that is everything we wanted to cover in today's Shopify and Klaviyo tutorial and there we have it that is it for today's tutorial guys you can now start engaging with your visitors on your Shopify store with pop-ups from Klaviyo now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like subscribe and with that I will see you in the next video take care guys